Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tara. My YouTube channel name is The Planting Bug. So in today's video, we are propagating my philodendron birkin, probably one of my most beloved plants I own. And I have been extremely nervous to do this, which has led me to probably leave the original plant in the same pot for a little too long. Um, as you will see, this was very root bound. Um, but I got through it. I ended up getting three plants out of one. Um, philodendron birkins are kind of a harder plant to propagate. I did my research on how to do it. I am crossing my fingers that I did it correctly. Like I always say in a lot of my videos, I never claim to be an expert when it comes to houseplant care, um, but I like to bring my journey and my experience to you guys, show you at work, show you what doesn't. So I will keep you updated on how these plants are doing in the future. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into this video and keep in mind I was extremely nervous to make these cuttings. <laughs> I was sweating bullets, um, but I got through it. Right now I feel pretty good about it. I think they're going to be fine. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay guys, so starting out here I wanted to show you how root bound this plant was. It's sticking out the bottom here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and carefully um, get this plant removed out of the original pot that it came in. And as you take a look there, it is very root bound. Um, at this point, I am not gonna completely undo and untangle all of the roots. I'm just gonna very carefully try to remove as much soil as I can from these roots. And then I will move on to propagating. So at this point, the roots are just so tangled and it is so dense. Um, I do not want to cause a lot of damage. So as you can see, I have this pot. I've added a bunch of water to it just to carefully loosen up the soil and remove as much as I can with doing the least amount of damage to the core roots of this plant. So again, here I'm just removing as much soil as I can, but I wanna let you know that this is not absolutely necessary. You could just completely leave this alone as is, and then go ahead and place it in a new pot and add new soil around the existing roots and soil. Okay, so this bottom section here is the mother plant. And you can tell by looking at the dark leaves. They're the mother plant. They're gonna survive and do just great. And where we're gonna propagate is we have, and I don't know if you can see it. Let's kind of cut it this way. Now I wanna show you like this section right here. And then there's an angle right here. This section right here, that's all new growth. And we're gonna cut it as low as we can, right there. And the same on this side. This is a whole new thing right here. We're gonna come down in there and cut as deep as we can. So we're gonna get three plants out of it. Okay, so I've got these two new leaves. And if you look, this one belongs to this stock, and then this one belongs to this stock. So what I'm gonna do is kind of come down into here. So I think I'm just gonna go in for this cut right here because this one I feel a little more safe than the other side. And I'm just removing these little stalks. This is just what the leaves came out of right there. So I think this is the biggest thing I want to show people is if you look right here, this is like the root ball of that new growth. So it's pretty thick down in there. I don't want to cut up high because you've got new leaves that are just going to ruin. I'm going to go pretty deep down in here. And this part is all mother plant that we're going to leave. But do you see how the cut has got to go like right here? So mm -hmm. All right, so I want to go down it really as far as I can. Yeah. So. Okay. 
Ain't gonna lie. Sweating bullets. <clears throat> and I don't know if it's gonna be just a straight cut, to tell you the truth. Let's see. I do have it about halfway. Okay, then I might pick this up on this edge. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. So see, that stalk is down just enough that it's holding all that new growth together. So I didn't damage the new growth at all. That is gonna be beautiful. And another important thing to, is to note is there's a node right here. So that tells you another reason why it was good for me to go below that. Going above a node is no good. So below it is perfect. So there's one. Ooh. <laughs> now this one might be a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and remove this stuff. This is just the shoots that the new growth comes out of. So it dies anyway. Okay, so now we just have to determine this is new, this is new growth. This one possibly, I don't know that I can go any deeper, so I might need to leave that as the mother plant. All right, so I think I've got, this is the section right here that I'm gonna cut. So again, I'm just gonna have to start low. You see there's a node right there. So I'm gonna go right here and just start. below that node. Oh, easy. Look. Oh, I feel really good. So I have just enough stock below. There's a node there and a node there. A nice fresh cut. So now if you look at the mother plant, I'm not worried about the mother plant. I mean, it's got a lot of tangled roots, but we're just gonna plant that back in, leave it as is, and you're gonna see new sprouts coming up and it's gonna produce new growth. And then these, so I've got three plants out of one. Are you gonna use the same soil that you pulled that one out of? Nope. Yeah, that's why I got rid of a bunch and threw it out. So let me go grab my soil. Okay, so I did put some new soil together and I did want to remind you guys that I recently did do a video of the soil mixture that I put together for my plants. So you can go back and watch that. Um, but here I'm just mixing up the soil and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the new baby plants planted in these little six inch pots and then the bigger mother plant planted uh, but you will see i end up changing my mind on how i want to propagate um, and that will come up here shortly but here you'll just see me getting them planted
Okay, and like I said, I decided I wanted to water propagate one of the plants. Um, so here you'll see the mother plant is. It looks gorgeous, and I know new shoots will end up popping up out of the top there. And then I've got this back one here that is planted and propagating in soil. And then I have this one that I went ahead and removed out of the soil, and I am water propagating it. I think I just want to experiment and see how one will do it propagating in soil and how the other one will do propagating in water and I will keep you updated on these. Okay guys, so I hope this video was helpful. If you're trying to figure out how to propagate a philodendron birkin, they're definitely different to propagate. Not as easy as like your monstera or your snake plants or Chinese money plants. Um, they are just, as you, as you just saw, a, a little bit different. You've gotta be pretty careful. Um, so anyway, I hope that these turn out good. I will keep you guys updated um, like I showed you just a minute ago I may move the two new new clippings the new two new cuttings I may have both of those um, take root in water so I may make both of them be propagated in water if that makes sense um, I just feel like I need to get those roots a little bit more established before I put them in the soil because I really want these plants to do well and as you can see there was not a lot of aerial root on there there was little ones, um, but definitely not big ones. So I'd really like to see the roots establish first and watch that happen in water before I put it in soil. So I think I'm gonna take those two cuttings and put both of them in water. So anyway, I will let you guys go. I'm gonna keep you updated on how this goes. I'll check back with you maybe in a couple months just to show you the progress. And maybe when I go ahead and uh, plant them finally into soil, I'll show you like how long it took the roots to grow and if they're doing well. Uh, so cross your fingers for me. I hope that this works and I hope it was helpful to any of you out there that are wanting to propagate their philodendron birkin. If you guys decide to, just go for it. Good luck. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. All right, guys, I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.